Hi everyone, this is Varun Manik and today we want to learn about the virtual private cloud in AWS machine. And uh, so without making any delay, let's go to the service and type VPC, hit enter or click here. It can be redirect you to the console of VPC. So here VPC that is virtual private cloud. So first of all question, what is the VPC? Now you can click on the VPC FAQ and you can read this one. So here, let me read this particular one paragraph and try to explain you the VPC. So Amazon VPC let you provision a logically isolated section of Amazon Web Services Cloud where you can launch AWS resource in a virtual network that you define. You have complete control over the virtual networking environment including selection of your own IP address range, creation of your subnet, creation of your subnets and configuration of your route tables and the networking gateway. So basically VPC will provide you the overall networking capacity in your AWS account and you can create your own private subnet, you can create your own public subnet, you can create your NAT gateway, internet gateway as well as uh, as well as uh, uh, your route tables and then route tables after that you can uh, utilize your VPN, your gateway and everything. So it's a complete control of your networking inside your uh, AWS account. So let's go to the VPC again and uh, Let's let's uh, ho hover over everything, every option. So inside the left thing, you have your VPC, how many VPC you have. So right now I have only one VPC, then subnets, then route tables, internet gateway, egress only internet gateway that is uh, working for the IPv6. Then we have a DSCP option set, which can help you for the DNS management and the elastic IP, which shows your uh, which shows your static IP, then uh, manage prefix, endpoints, and so on. So you have a lot of option over here. So let's let's go ahead and just uh, click on this launch VPC wizard. And now you can see the four option. The first option will create a public subnet with uh, internet gateway. And the second option is VPC public and private subnet where you can see uh, you have uh, a VPC inside that public subnet with a couple of servers and the NAT gateway or NAT instance and then you have a private subnet. Similarly, if you want to create with the VPN access, you can click ahead and go ahead. That means you have a corporate data center that is on premises or in any other cloud. So you can make a connectivity of your corporate data center with the private subnet and all. And similarly, if you want to create uh, a VPN access with private subnet only, no public instance, then you can select this one. So let's go ahead and uh, click on the select button. Here, it wants uh, the first option you can see to provide the CIDR block. So CIDR block is 10.0.0.0 slash 16. Let it be by default as it is and I am not providing any IPv6 CIDR block. So just uh, this radio button needs to be checked on. Then what is the name of your VPC? So I'm gonna put uh, my VPC name is uh, uh, Varun VPC. Okay. And as we said that we, we have only one uh, public subnet. So it can provide you the public subnet with this range then availability zone, which availability zone you want to create this particular VPC. So I'm gonna choose the VPC, uh, uh, the public subnet US East one as we are in the North Virginia region, you can see here. And then if you want to create some endpoint, you can, but for the demonstration purpose, I'm not gonna do that. Enable DNS host name, yes. So the DNS host name, I will pro uh, let you know uh, in EC2 section, how, how we can configure and deconfigure this DNS host name. Then the hardware tenancy. So uh, we have a dedicated tenancy, which will cost you so much and that cannot be shared with anyone. It's your dedicated uh, networking component, but that will cost you a lot. So go with the default, which is a multi-tenant uh, tenancy, right? 
So if you can click on this create VPC, it will run a cloud formation script in the background and uh, it has created your VPC right now. So one, now you can click on your VPC. Previously, this number was one. If you can go to the dashboard again and see previously this number was one. Now it is showing two VPC. So you can see Varun VPC and this one is the default VPC created by the AWS. So let me put the name default. Okay. And if you can uh, uh, see here, select uh, the VPC, only one VPC is showing here. Let me refresh from the top. And now you can see there is a two VPC. Let me select the Varun VPC. So all the resources from Varun VPC can be uh, visible here. So if I can connect on the subnet. So remember we have created just one subnet with uh, a range of 10.0.0.0 slash 24. It is there. And if I can go to the route table, so it must create uh, two route table. One is by default and another one is uh, no. So one is for the private cloud, a private uh, subnet and another one is a public subnet. So this one is a default one goes to the private. And uh, then if we can check the internet gateway, yes, we do have created an internet gateway for this particular VPC, it's here. And uh, yeah, that's all, that's a very basic steps to show you how to create a VPC with the launch wizard. So if I can create, my, click on this your VPC thing. So uh, most probably I can get all the detail of my VPC over here. That VPC ID, state, it's a CIDR block, DNS resolution, host name enablement or disablement, what is your account name, what is the tenancy, default VPC or uh, uh, it's a, it's a non-default VPC because we have created it and network ACL, DSCP option set and route table. So this is one of the easiest step to create a VPC, but uh, moving forward, we are gonna create this VPC manually and I will let you know each and each and every step, uh, which I have divided already in uh, my word file, which is the 11 steps to do that. So in next video, I'm gonna teach you how to create your VPC uh, step by step. So thank you for joining me in this VPC lecture and see you in the next video. Thank you.